Hi, this is Rachel Stone with CCT in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm talking about using Quick Parts with Outlook 2013. Now, there's probably many times that you would be sending the same information in your replies to multiple people. So, um, let's say I frequently get requests for information about our Excel classes. So, I have typed um, uh, some information in a little table here about our Excel that I might use in replies today, tomorrow, the next day, and so on. And so I'd have to either copy and paste it each time or retype it each time, and that takes extra time that I don't want to have to take. So I can actually save this information as a quick part and have it quickly insert into a message and it save me a considerable amount of time. So um, I'm going to set up that quick part now. Now we have to begin with information um, that's ready to go and I'm going to take that and select it. And note that this is text, it's table, it can also include an image, it can include smart art, anything that you would be sending. Um, go ahead and select it there. I'm going to right click and copy and I don't need that message anymore. So I'll close out of that, hit the new button and I'm going to paste that into the body of this new message. And I did that with a right click and paste. Now I'm going to select that again and go on my message tab up here to the insert tab and then go to quick parts. And note I have the option here, save selection to quick part gallery. And that's what I want to do. Now I'm going to assign this a name since this quick part is regarding Excel 2013. I'll call this Excel 2013. And I'll leave the rest as default and click OK. I'm going to close out of this message. I don't really need to save this one because I want to demonstrate how it would look in a new message or in a reply. So let's say I'm ready to send that information to someone. I'll put in their name. Subject is Excel. And now with my cursor down in the body of the message, I'll go to Insert, Quick Parts, and there's my Excel 2013. I just click it and it's inserted. A lot of time has been saved and you can store multiple items under this quick parts list. Now if for some reason you wanted to go back and remove this item, you can uh, right click on it and choose organize and delete and this brings up this little building blocks organizer. You would select that from the list and remove it. And that is working with quick parts in Outlook 2013. This is Rachel Stone and thanks for watching.